And so, um, but you know, you keep seeing these controlled burns, you know, as people pop up and get caught out, you know, Harvey Weinstein gets uh, exposed and there's obviously a lot of other people involved in doing the same sort of stuff, but they throw him to the wolves and hope it's enough. And so, but here's the thing that, you know, because some people were saying, um, oh, you know, oh, and you need to be careful and, and all this sort of thing. Well, you need to understand something very important. We don't need to be afraid of them. They are terrified of us because we outnumber them sizably, considerably. We could end them all tomorrow if we chose to do so, and they know it. Think about all those events where there's all the fans and all the, all the people around, and there's 20 people on the red carpet. Well, right now, those people are all cheering them, right? But they know that those people could just as easily be tearing them to pieces with their bare hands if they wanted. They don't want to right now. But the whole reason that they speak in symbolism the whole reason that they talk like this, the whole reason that, that, that they act subversively is because they can't act openly. We can say these things because we speak the truth. We are capable of operating in the light because we do not have any of that sort of wickedness to hide. I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I'm not saying that Owen is perfect. I'm not saying that anybody is perfect. We, we know everybody is not perfect. But there is a huge difference between a fallen man who is repentant and who is dedicated to pursuing the truth and following the way of Jesus Christ to the best of his ability and those who are completely dedicated to or at least completely caught up in the web of wickedness for which they have sold their soul. Because understand, all of those people have sold their souls. That's why they're caught up in it. That's why they have to pay the price when they become expendable. You know? Um, you know, and... And the thing is, everybody knows, like, why is, why is Donald Trump safe? Why, it, why is it that Donald Trump, um, I mean, he's a huge threat to all kinds of people. I mean, whether, whether Q is correct in any way or, or whether it's all make-believe and stuff, the fact of the matter is thousands of child abusers have been arrested in the past two years. That's not an accident. All over the world, everywhere from Norway to Af uh, Australia and New Zealand, people are being rounded up and arrested, and they are no longer being permitted to traffic people, to traffic children, and abuse and harm children. Why is he safe? Because they know that the law protects them. It protects them from us. And if they, you know, nobody on, on our side is going to get too worked up if somebody who's caught up in the web of all that wickedness happens to disappear one way or the other. But when they, you know, if and when they are to cross a line and start attacking people for nothing more than telling the truth about what is happening, about these things that are in public. What, what I, that transcript that I read you 
is something that they published. I didn't make it up. I, I know nothing about it. But that is their transcript. That is what they said. You know, any of you can see that and judge that for yourself. But the thing is, is that, um, you know, once a line gets crossed and somebody on our side gets harmed for telling the truth, all the bets are off. They will no longer be protected by our restraint. Because let's face it, there's already a lot of people that are at the uh, pitchforks and torches phase, or at least want to be. Um, I personally would prefer a civilized, uh, lawful form of retribution. We know there will be eternal divine retribution. But the fact of the matter is, is that this, that this kind of evil is pervasive. Hollywood is the worst of it, I think. But we know that it exists in all these, or not in all organizations, but in many, many of these organizations, because as the late, great Jerry Pornell said, people in organizations tend to prioritize protecting, protecting the organization. That's why you see this, this horrible hiding of abuse in the Southern Baptist churches. You see this ridiculous attempt to protect priests, the people who should be the l very last people on earth to harm a child. I mean, it, it, it boggles my mind that any Christian institution would protect any Christian individual who harms a child, especially in a sexual manner, considering what Jesus Christ said about it. It would be better for those people to tie a millstone around their neck and throw themselves in the ocean than what they're going to face. And you're going to go against what Jesus said to protect your organization? No.